What's up everybody, I'm Eric Hansen with Backpacking TV. Today on the channel, I'm going to be breaking down my favorite pieces of backpacking gear that all cost under $50. Now, depending on when you're watching this, this could be a great holiday gift giving guide for the backpacker in your life or for yourself if you like to buy yourself presents. Uh, but this is kind of a perennial list, could be applicable anytime for just awesome gear that doesn't break the bank. Before we get too far along in the video, I do want to give a shout out to Mystery Ranch. Mystery Ranch is helping making this video possible and they make amazing backpacks. I've been using Mystery Ranch for the last few years and I totally love their packs. They're bomber, they're awesome, they're super comfortable. And if you're interested in checking them out, look up mysteryranch.com for more. Okay, when you're first getting into backpacking, it can be overwhelming just all of the things that you need to buy, and sometimes stuff is really pricey. So I wanted to assemble a list of really inexpensive items that are awesome for backpacking and that can really make a big difference for me. So here I'm going to start on this end. And uh, really it's just, to me, the classic stove for backpacking. This is the Pocket Rocket 2. So it's the second iteration from MSR. And it's just a super lightweight uh, stove that is really all you need. This weighs in at 2.6 ounces to be exact. And you, of course, you pair that with your fuel source such as uh, MSR, Jetboil, whoever's uh, butane. And this will allow you to run for about 60 minutes of pure runtime, which you would never actually just go 60 minutes straight, or at least I really wouldn't recommend that. Uh, one eight ounce container of fuel will probably last for about a week of a backpacking trip, depending on your type of cooking needs. But if you're doing boil and eats, uh, that's easy. Uh, I actually prefer this stove over say a jet boil because uh, while you can still very efficiently uh, just boil water, it does incentivize you to bring a pot in which you can cook real meals on. So for $45, this stove is awesome. It's super light really compact and uh, you can just kind of throw this thing in your pack and it comes in this really handy case you don't really have to worry too much about it down the road so this is just basically like the hallmark backpacking stove and i really like it a lot there are some cheaper versions out there from say just amazon just getting some guys from that are imported from from china which are fine but i have seen some some people break those and msr just builds really good stuff so i like that okay Next on my list is the Katadin B Free one liter system. Now this also retails for $45. Uh, so again, I'm coming in just under 50 bucks. But the B Free system is a really nice ultralight way to do water. Basically all you do is just remove this, scoop up your dirty water and you can drink and go. Uh, and this weighs in without the water, of course, weighs in at two ounces. So it's just really a lightweight solution. And basically it allows you to go quick and dirty on the trail. You can just scoop that dirty water and drink as you go, which a lot of people really like. So uh, shout out to Dan Becker for, for that one because uh, he has really used this a lot. I backpacked with him this summer and then I started using it and I do really like that. So for $45, it's a pretty dang cheap and inexpensive way to go. A few other details about this product is that it can handle about a thousand liters now that does it depend on how dirty the sources are. If you've got really dirty water, it's not gonna be able to handle as much or it'll need to be cleaned more. And it does not purify from viruses. So this is best use uh, for in the US because international traveling, you tend to come across more viruses in the water. So if you're doing international traveling, I'd recommend something else that is a purifier, This whereas this is a filter. So bacteria, protozoa, those types of things which is mostly in North America. So if that's where you are, you'll be just fine with this system. Next up on my list is a BioLite 200 lumen headlamp. Now, I really like BioLite's headlamps uh, just because of their super slender profile. This is an ultra light headlamp. This is really great for if you're doing, a tr say, trail running. It's so slender that the headlamp itself is not going to be bobbing on your forehead as you run or hike. This headlamp is super light. It weighs in at just under two ounces at 50 grams. So that's just like 
crazy stinking light. So I really like that. Now this headlamp is rechargeable. So you just add in a, I believe it's a micro USB right in the side. So no need for AA or AAA batteries. So I really like obviously being able to have a rechargeable headlamp. No need to throw away batteries all the time. Now, uh, the, it is important to know for backpacking that this does not have a super long runtime because it's so slim and so lightweight. Uh, it can handle about four hours of runtime at its most high powered setting. So if you are actually backpacking with it, just make sure that you uh, power it down to its lower lumen setting. You can power that up and you can power it down. Um, so just having it at its low lumen output, you can run this thing for like 40 hours. Um, so that's pretty nice. So I think a lot of people, they like to crank that light full blast all the time, which is great, but you're gonna, it's a common misconception that it blows out your battery usage uh, on headlamps. So make sure that you're on any headlamp, just putting it at low lumen outputs, unless you really, really need it. Of course, it does have a red light function here as well, which is always nice for keeping those bugs away from you at night and uh, not bothering other hikers and backpackers because it's not gonna blast them with that blinding white light. So this is a great headlamp from BioLite and at $44.95 retail, to me, that's just a really nice value. Next up on my list, now this is kind of a game changer for a lot of people when they start backpacking with pillows. This is the Sea to Summit Eros pillow. And for the longest time, I was averse to backpacking with a pillow. I just thought, you know, I can just roll up my uh, down jacket and stuff it in my t-shirt and just use what I got. And that's true. I've done that for many years and have been just fine with doing that. However, when I did start using pillows, I realized I sleep way better. And so this weighs in at just over two ounces. It's 2.1 ounces. Uh, it, for that amount of weight, it totally revolutionizes my sleep and I definitely recommend it. This baby costs $39.95, so just under 40 bucks there for all you gift givers out there. And uh, let me blow this up for you. Takes just about two breaths. The other thing I like is that it contours to your shoulders. So you can kind of really see how that's going to go for you. And it just fits nicely. Now, if it's a warm night, I'll just tuck this into my sleeping bag itself. But if it's a cold night and I really want that draft collar to work, it is important to know that this is best to go under your sleeping bag and not in your sleeping bag because it will inhibit how your draft collar is going to go around your head. But that being said, for 2.1 ounces and $40, I will take this every time I go backpacking. And uh, yeah, so add this to your repertoire and you won't be disappointed. Excuse me one second, folks. La 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 la. Okay, we're good to go. Next up on my list, we're gonna get into the coffee vibes when it comes to backpacking. Now this is really isn't gear, but it's gonna lead me into a piece of gear. So the most dead simple way to go and get coffee while backpacking is Alpine Starts. These weigh 0.1 ounce, I think. Uh, yeah, 0.1 ounce per coffee packet. And uh, a pack of eight will cost $9. And I just love uh, backpacking coffee from Alpine Start. It's just the best way to go. Um, and it's, it's great, pretty inexpensive for about a dollar a cup. That's gonna be pretty good. Now that does lead me into my next item, which is the X brew from Sea to Summit. And so if you are a true coffee lover out there, a coffee snob, or just, hey, let's just say barista, you can bring this baby for a pour over. You can just set this on top of any old mug or even your large mouth uh, insulated. Uh, mugs if you're really into it. Bring some of your own coffee, of course. Add kind of a fine to medium coarse uh, grind into here. This can hold, I believe, uh, eight ounces of liquid. So you can basically make a nice single cup of coffee. Pour that over and you've got a really high end nice cup of coffee. So this is fun. I like taking these. Uh, I'm more familiar, actually, I've been using the GSI version for a long time, but uh, I just actually really like this silicon grade, food grade, uh, collapsible system 
from sea to summit now. So I really like what they've done. So the X-Brew weighs in at three ounces, so still pretty dang light. Not quite the 0.1 ounce that uh, the Alpine Start is, but for you coffee lovers, it kind of doesn't matter. You're gonna do what you need to get that good cup of coffee. Now, if you can see through this, there's a nice little mesh interior, so you don't need to bring any additional filters or anything like that. You can just literally dump your coffee grounds right into there, see through that baby. And uh, yeah, pour your hot water in, let it percolate and brew down into your cup and enjoy it. So at $19.95, $19.95, to me that's a pretty good value if you are very passionate about coffee. Now, good pooping is an aspect of every backpacking trip. Uh, it's inevitable if you're going for more than a day. So uh, trowels are super, super important. And I really like this titanium trowel from Vargo. Now, why? Well, one, it's incredibly light. This weighs in at 1.25 ounces. So that's really stinking light. It's also made from a single piece of titanium, which means it's very strong. So I like that they've done a lot to like minimize the way that it digs into your hand when you're digging. So it's very comfortable to use. Also, it's got some serrated edges if you need to work your way through small roots and stuff. Of course, be careful not to cut down a tree or uh, kill anything out there. But if you need to work your way through some soil, this can really do it. And if you've ever gone backpacking with, say, a plastic trowel, you know that they are often unmatched unless you're just in really loose soil. And that's almost never the case, especially out here in the desert. It's almost like rock hard dirt. So having something that's really got some oomph to it is really nice. So the other cool thing that I like about this is that like all, almost all things that Vargo makes is that they're multi-use. So I do like that uh, you can also use it as a spoon. Just kidding, I wouldn't recommend uh, mixing there. But you can use it as a steak. So if you are in, say, loose soil, even snow, things like that, you know that a lot of tent steaks can just pull right out. Now, of course, you're probably not gonna bring eight of these, but you can use it if you just need, say, one really strong anchor point. Drive that into the sand, and then you've got some lash points here for cordage uh, that is really nice to use. So I really like that because I definitely encounter it all the time where you know the soil is just really loose and you know that you, the wind is coming in at one direction and you really wanna add some extra support with guy lines or whatever. And uh, being able to drive that stake in really nicely is gonna be very helpful. So thanks to Vargo, this thing weighs in, like I said, at 1.25 ounces. Retails for $25, which is slightly expensive when it comes to a trowel, but this is the last trowel you'll ever need because this thing is indestructible. Now we're gonna be sticking to the same kind of theme here with hygiene. So uh, of course you can just go backpacking with regular old toilet paper, but uh, wilderness wipes from Sea to Summit. I actually really like backpacking with essentially what's a baby wipe. Now these are biodegradable and they are pleasant in the Netherlands. Uh, so it's awesome to use. You get a great clean feeling. And uh, also for the ladies out there, this is really nice to take along for just general hygiene. Uh, and for anybody, it's great to you know take a little bath. You get your pits, you get your bits, and uh, all that you need can be cleaned up with these wilderness wipes. So even though these are biodegradable, I do recommend that unless you're you know, really sure about the biodegradability of the environment, uh, I would pack these out. So just, uh, just, just to be on the safe side, don't try to bury these because uh, I think that we'll all be better off if you pack these out. Just fold them up, put them in a Ziploc bag, and carry them out because they weigh very little. But, uh, but anyway, this is a really nice way to clean up after yourself. Uh, you can also combine it with some toilet paper, but I really like using wilderness wipes. So these for a pack, which would be plenty for a backpacking trip, uh, is $4.95. So I really recommend it. Stay clean out there, everybody. Okay, we're coming to the tail end here of my list of gear items, and that is to have a good blister kit. Now, for $12, you can get a good pack of Second Skin, and uh, if you haven't used Second Skin, it is really a delight. Uh, now, because every, 
Every enemy of a backpacker is blisters. Just something as simple as a little bit of raw skin can really put a hamper on your entire backpacking trip. It can take a great backpacking trip all the way down to just pure misery. So I really recommend uh, supplementing with your med kit, having just some extra second skin in there. Most med kits already come with say moleskin, but adding supplemental second skin into your pack is really uh, just a really nice safety net. Of course, if you're doing your feet right with good sock care and good, the right breathability, hopefully you never need it. But uh, even for the most experienced backpackers out there with the right gear dialed in, you're still probably gonna get blisters. So make sure that you add a pack of second skin into your pack. $12, totally worth it. Uh, hopefully you never need it, but if you do, you'll be thankful you have it. Last up on my list of gear under 50 bucks is a compression sack. Now I have a compression sack here, a 10 liter sack from Sea to Summit. Now, now you may be asking, why is this so special? And really it's because space is always at a premium in a backpack. Now this will just really allow me, I've got a sleeping bag in here, 15 degree sleeping bag. Um, I can take what's a normally packed sleeping bag and I can just crank this thing down and just keep going and keep going. And I can get my sleeping bag to about a third of the size that I would otherwise be carrying. So I could probably even still keep cranking this down. Uh, but the main thing is, is just keeping space, which is precious in a backpack, uh, well used. So by just taking, sorry, I got sawdust on this here, but by taking a compression sack, throwing your sleeping bag in it, not only will you save space, but this is water resistant. I believe it's not fully waterproof. But if you are say in a storm situation or you dumped it into a creek by falling off of a log or something like that, if your sleeping bag is not in something that's water resistant, obviously you know that water might get into your backpack somehow through error or weather. And having a dry sleeping bag is very, very important. So this doubles it up, it adds some protection from the elements to make sure that your sleeping bag is dry, that last line of defense for safety in case the weather really turns or the conditions really turn. Uh, but of course, just for general non-life-threatening situations, just being able to save an extra third of the bottom of your pack, I really, really like. This compression sack from Sea to Summit is a 10 liter compression sack and it retails for $35 and it weighs just over two ounces. So I highly recommend this. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up my list here on key pieces of gear for under $50. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Now, if you have any ideas or critiques, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave it in the comments below. And for that backpacker in your life, if you're always looking for gifts, make sure to uh, take, some, take some notes here from the idea list. I hope this helps. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed here on the channel. And I'm Eric Hansen. I'll see you later.